Hi everybody, this is a little video that I've been wanting to put together for a little while now. And this is a little bit on motor maintenance, brushless motor maintenance. It's pretty important stuff, uh, especially when you're flying things that you want them to operate safely and you also want your video quality to be excellent. So, uh, what I have here is a brushless motor. And this brushless motor has some problems. Uh, a, the bearings are a little bit rough and B, I think there might be a slight bend in the shaft. Um, it's hard to tell, but I think that's the case. So inside our motor here, um, there's a little C-clip. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to remove this C-clip. And uh, I'm going to use this tool here to remove the C-clip. Okay, and we're just going to pry the C-clip apart. And there, C-clip's apart. Now it's just resting on top of the motor. I'm just going to use this, screw, this uh, torque wrench to pull it out. There. It's on the ground now. I'm going to grab my magnet to hold it in place. And uh, there it is. So now it's on the end of the magnet. I don't know if you can see that. There we are. It's on the end of the magnet. That's the little secret. So I use the magnet just to hold small pieces to make it a little bit harder to lose them. Okay, so now we're going to pull the motor apart. We're going to pull it apart carefully. You want to pull this apart carefully. You want to make sure you pull it out straight and you also want to make sure that uh, you don't let it snap back together again. If it snaps back together again, that's a big problem because we can damage the motor. So there, I've got it spread a little apart. The magnets are going to pull, are, are pulling it together and we're going to very carefully pull it apart. There. Now we have our can and we have our uh, our bottom piece with the magnets and stators. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to remove a little set screw that's down inside here and in order to remove the set screw we have to remove the set screw. There we go. And we're going to put that on our magnet as well. Um, there we go. And there's our set screw on our magnet. Again, so we don't lose the little pieces. So now to get this uh, shaft out of there, even though I removed the set screw, it's still in there quite firmly. So we're going to use our arbor press to get that out. So I'm going to press, I'm going to place this in the arbor press, and I'm going to use a drill bit that's just a little tiny bit smaller than the shaft itself. Uh, you want it to be smaller, and you want to line it up nicely. don't have to apply too much force, just a little bit. Okay. Just going to line it up as well as we can and press. There. So now, as you can probably see, it, there's a little bit of force there. Okay. So there's the possibly offending shaft. So now we're going to put a new shaft in there. Also, going to want to use Loctite. Um, this is blue Loctite. The reason why I use blue Loctite for a lot of applications is so I can get it apart again if I have to. If you use red Loctite, you in all likelihood will not get it apart again. Now, there's our hole uh, for our set screw and then there's a flat spot on our shaft. You want to line those two things up. Getting them in can be a little bit tricky because the magnet wants to pull it around. So in this case, we're going to line this up and now we're going to use the flat portion, portion of our arbor press and we're just going to press that back in place. That's what we're going to do. And there is a flat spot on both ends of the shaft 
so you, so you know to line them up, which makes it a little bit easier to line things up, which I really prefer. Okay, so you want to be really careful when you put this back in. You want it to be lined up, and you want it to be lined up well. You want it to be as straight as possible because you don't want to bend or rupture uh, the, the side of the can where the shaft goes in. This is quite critical. What I like to do is I like to rotate it a little bit each time I press down, just to make sure it's always going down nice and straight. There we go. And that's pretty close. Now, I want it to go a little bit further in, and what I have here to prevent any scratching is a piece of leather with a hole in it, and this should uh, give that little piece just a little bit of room to move down. That's approximately to where it was. If it needs to come out a little bit, that's fine too. Our flat spot's in there. I'm going to hold off on putting the set screw in there for right now. So now I'm going to set this aside. So our next task is the bearings. Now how are we going to get those bearings out? These bearings are a little grubby too. Well, once again, our arbor press comes in handy. Okay, so what, what, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use our little uh, screwdriver, or sorry, uh, screw, a uh, drill bit. Wow, what's wrong with me today? Drill bit, and um, we're going to, we're gonna push this out on a slight angle. And we have to be very careful when doing this because again, we don't want to bend things. Arbor press down. There we go. And it came out quite easily. And it usually does come out quite easily. And just in case it doesn't, again, we want to be careful. So that came out with virtually no pressure whatsoever. But again, the arbor press is quite handy for this action. Now, what we have here um, is a piece of leather. And use a piece of rubber or whatever it may be, and we're going to use this piece of leather because we're going to have to take out these bearings now. And we don't know how much force we're going to have to apply. So in order to do this, we need to put our bearings, we need to put our bearing through that hole. The reason why is this is soft enough to protect these wires. Because if we press these wires down on this iron plate and we start applying pressure, we can crush one of these wires and you crush one of these wires, you'll introduce a short. You'll either kill the motor outright or the motor will fail in flight. Either way, it's not a good thing. All right. So now with this one, it's a little bit easier to do. So what I have here is a, is a Blade SR main shaft. So. There we go. And that bearing's there and we've protected our wires. So, now, we have these old bearings, we can throw these out, uh, we can do whatever we want with them, but they're probably toast. Now we have our new bearings. And these may just slip right in. And, that one did. Now we'll take our other, our other bearing. And, uh, this little hole here looks a little bit dirty. Looks like it could use a little bit of a, a wipe out. Go. And uh, now we're gonna put this bearing in this hole. So, once again, we're just going to press this in with our arbor press. And we're going to be very careful doing so. We can use the flat spot here because we're not going to press any wires. I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to rotate it a little bit each time. And there, it just slips in very nicely. Okay, 
Now, before we put the motor back together, what I want to do is add a little bit of uh, oil. This is a this is an oil from Innovative Designs. Thank you very much, Lucian Miller, uh, for your good Scorpion oil. This is Scorpion oil. Uh, it's not from Scorpions. It's for Scorpion motors. So don't mistake this as oil from Scorpions. Okay, we we'll just add a very small amount. And we're gonna do the same to the other side. And this oil is really good at taking out moisture, uh, all kinds of really protecting those bearings. Because um, the bearings are absolutely critical in order to keep in proper running oil. Okay. So now when I put the motor together, we find that that little lip that the C clip went into doesn't quite doesn't quite get exposed. So we're just gonna press it down just a little bit. Arbor press again. And it should be exposed now. It needs a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to put our C clip on. So we're just going to it open just a little bit there we go and we get it back on and it should be nice and tight there yep it seems to be in place quite well it doesn't seem to be going anywhere and we have a little bit of play on the motor so we're just gonna press our shaft back down just a little tiny bit uh, so that it holds very nicely the motor together without any play. Yeah, that was about a fraction of a millimeter. Go just, a, just a tap more. So now our motor is together, and uh, that's the first portion of what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do now.